Jeff Williams here. You know who I am. Stop fizzing. Come here, take a look at this. Look who I found out here in Lost Basin. <laughs> hey, hey, buddy. My All name's right. Al Guth Miller. All right, now, why I brought you out here? Because he's got an interesting design. And anybody who's been out to Lost Basin knows that the hardest thing to work this area is that darn red clay from the Muddy Creek Formation. But he's got a good idea. Why don't you tell him what it is? Well, what this is is a trommel wash plant and everything to help actually process this clay material and also recycle the water. The key is recycling the water. So anyhow, this is all made out of simple materials from the hardware store, basically five gallon buckets, PVC pipe, screens and things of that sort that make this whole thing work. And then what happens is that the main feed comes into here and then it goes through the trommel and then all the uh, header, all the bigger tailings go out this direction and then the rest of it goes through the sluice and then the material then goes into this dewatering trommel which is a 60 mesh screen. And of course this actually allows the uh, water to fall through the screen and then anything minus 60 mesh or smaller ends up in the tub and the head and the uh, more coarser material goes out into the tailings pile. Now if they want to see your videos, how do they do that? Well, you go onto YouTube and look up uh, Allen's Gold Mining Trommel Wash Plant, and that like explains that. how this all works. And then I have another one, it's uh, uh, about dry washing, how to improve recovery. So both of them are on there. And yeah. what we'll do is we'll put a link on the very bottom so okay. you guys can click on it and watch his videos if you can't seem to figure it out, which I know you can. <laughs> now, like I said, the thing I liked the most was this deep yeah, water. Yeah, let's get down here. here. Okay. This little guy right here is clever. I've always tried to figure out how to build one without a having issues but I could never do it it looks like you got it to work but this is a 60 mesh screen built in here and then I've got this tubing in here that acts like an auger so when this thing is rolling around yeah I wish I would have thought of that and this comes on out and your water loss is minimal yep. you can actually see the water flowing through the stream See, that's how it all works. Yeah. Get everything. Now the other thing I added too is that when water comes off the trommel, it's all turbulating, it's all turbulent. So I added these little ventral fins down here that help stabilize the water so as it flows over the ripples and everything, it's flowing with a little bit more of a laminar flow. So you get a little better contact, better recovery with that. And you can see how everything is uh, kind of washing. This little metal plate here I just added onto the trommel. That helps out to uh, kind of mix the material to get a little bit better washing, especially with this uh, muddy creek clay that we're running through here. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't that stuff. Oh, it's, uh, yeah, it's really something. Now, do you ever go over these guys with a VLF? Yes, I do. In fact, actually, when I'm done, and I just take this little <laughs> rake over here, and then I'll just scan it with my gold bug. Yeah, very good. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then we just scan it and everything. I mean, if there's a, uh, if there's a nugget, that's bigger than a quarter inch, it didn't fall with screen, it's gonna scream on a metal detector down here oh, in the pile. Oh, heck yeah. Yeah, it'll be real Especially easy. on a gold bug too. Oh yeah, it'll, it'll, just, it'll just scream like crazy, so. Yeah, what are you doing with the, the tailings to come out the end here? I just okay. Have, I just take this, I don't have much of a slope, so I have this built this little dolly contraption here. Oh, I love it. And uh, I could use that in my just drag room. it all the way out to the end, hook it onto here, and then I just, Dump there it, it is. Out. There you go. And yeah, you're gonna get muddy. <laughs> hey, Sorry, I heard Jeff, that somewhere really... before. <laughs> I love that thing. Now, if you you come out of here to the Lost Basin, and you see this man, you can't miss him. Ask him some questions, would you? Because after time with him, he knows more about this area than I do, and so he can tell you about the formations and and where to look for gold and and what sections are in the royal, all that good stuff. Yeah. So you look for this guy, you can't miss him. He's out here in section ten. Ooh, you've been getting a lot of gold. Yeah, yeah. Yeah! <laughs> I love it. In fact, it. if you want, we'll take some gold and so we'll pan it out and see what we got today. Yeah, let's go take a look. Let's Ooh. go. Come on! Let's go! Oh, I'm gonna pop this insert off. Right. Now, this insert is for a Keen A52 sluice. Right. Okay. And this insert's made by uh, Snake River Products in uh, up in uh, Washington. Oh, yeah. Look at and that. And so, what it is, is I'll just slowly. 
Let's trickle down here a oh, little bit. Oh, I see. So this is called their Vortex Matting. That's really cool because it really eliminates the black sand, but really super keen on fine gold. Wow. Okay. Kind of like in a gold cube. Right. And yeah, exactly, the same material as a gold cube. And then down here is you see these fine little riffles. What this is, is called a clean gold. It's actually a magnetic strip with uh, that actually forms with black sand and these micro riffles. Oh, and that makes sense. So this is really great for picking up the minus 200, right. minus 400 gold and everything. And it won't pick up the really the big stuff. And then what I did is I added a couple of riffles back here just in yeah. case your pickers get it. Yeah. yeah. So we're working on some other designs and everything and uh, to help improve this and all that. So oh, I love it. Yeah. So yeah, I see little, again. I little see specs, exactly. little specs right there. There. Yeah. We're seeing a few. Yeah. A few little specs yeah. there. Right there. You can see it. Plain as day. Yeah. There's one there. Uh -huh. and there's one there. Yeah. yeah, you can't miss because it naturally drops into that low pressure zone. Right, exactly. So I mean, this picks up some of the finer stuff, and of course, the bigger pieces will be in the uh, in the uh, vortex right. and stuff like that. And uh, so I'm just going to wash these guys off real good. Just clean off the the mats. And then eventually, you can get the one that slides out. Right, exactly. See the magnetic strips. And you see the strips in here and all that. Oh yeah. In fact, there's a little piece of gold right yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, that's cool the way that it uses the magnetite to build little riffles. Make little riffles out of it. Wow, yeah. I didn't even think about that. It, it only works good for the real ultra fine stuff. You know, right. it won't, won't do for that's the heavier, clever. you know, you know, 60 mesh or 20 mesh size gold. It really, I mean, every once in a while I'll, I'll find a piece, but right. yeah, it's yeah, pretty, I can see gold in there. Uh -huh. yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, look at that. And yeah, you're going to get wet. <laughs> <laughs> I love that, right? Where about that? Wet. <laughs> hey, there you go. All right. Okay. Getting that gold to drop to the bottom. Yeah, every chance you get, try to get that gold on the bottom, then we'll get rid of, rid of some of the light stuff. And I don't like to pan down to the gold uh, yeah. because the gold likes to mix with the black sand. I've seen that. It'll, some of it will float on top of that black sand. Yeah, exactly. So uh, to me, it's just easier to blue bowl it. I just like to cut it down enough so I can see what I got. Right. And then from there, I'll just, okay, I'll just pack it in, take it home, and then process it in my blue bowl and, yeah. and separate it out from there. Yeah, it's just so Makes much easier. Makes sense. Yeah, it's just so much easier. Look at all that black sand. Oh, I see the gold right now. Yeah, there it is. Right there. There's a piece right yeah. there. Uh huh. Yeah, starting to show. Yeah, that's what I mean by it floating on the top. See, there it is. Yeah. Yep. And so it's just not worth trying to. There's another one. Piece yep. showing up there. Yep. Yep. And there's, I just saw another couple of them just flash at me here. Yep. Just as you're washing through. Uh huh. Yeah. There's uh, another one yep. right there. In fact, there's uh, finer pieces right oh, there. Oh, yeah, just right there. Just slowly move it a little bit. You can see the. Yeah, right and, there. And really if you look here, you see, and just underneath your fingernail, Jeff, was a, was a whole bunch of really ultra fine. Oh, man, you're like talking 100 mass. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's And and that's what I like about this V-matting. V it just really, or this vortex matting, it really grabs, a hole grabs it. everything. Yeah. yeah. So, really, the only thing that gets down onto the clean gold is the minus 200 stuff. Right. Oh. I yeah. thought I saw a piece go by. Did I, did I knock one loose? Yeah. There'll be more coming probably. <laughs> oh, I like that. Yeah, there we go. Here's some. Oh, yeah, there's some more. Oh, there's yeah. some right yeah. there. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, ultra fines. Look ultra at that. Ultra fines. Yeah. Ultra Holy fines. cow. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. And, and a lot of it, but you can see it starting to show up. Oh, yeah, as you it, get closer it, it to the crease. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I see that. Well, you did pretty good. I'm well, thank fun. you, sir. I finally glad it. I got to meet this guy. Yeah. I heard a lot about him, and I wanted to come out here and see him. So now I did. <laughs> so you know what I'm going to say, huh? What are you going to say? So come on. Let's, let's go. Don't you?